Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to shoot where your most likely oil leaks are on a white block engine. If you're standing in front of the car, looking at the engine, the windshield behind you, this is the right side of the car because if you were sitting in the car this would be right this would be left now it is very common pretty much normal to find oil on top of the engine like down in there most of the time that seeps out of your oil cap your oil cap seal should be nice and soft not hard and crunchy like this these things should be real platable this one is, and it's a little platable, but it is still a little harder than it should be. Over the years of taking the oil cap off and on, off and on, you wear out the cap. Maybe the groove down in there, maybe the tabs on the cap. If that cap is not real tight, it's easy for oil to get out of there. Now these cars don't have valve covers, so they don't have valve cover gaskets. They have cam covers that should absolutely never leak unless somebody messes with them. These vehicles have a PCV system. There's a link in the comments below telling you how to check that. This is part of it. This hose goes down, connects to this, what they call breather box here. If that system is plugged up, this will cause pressure to build up in the engine and normally cause oil leaks. Normally does not cause the car to stall. It normally causes oil leaks because of the pressure in the engine is pushing on seals. This is the front of the engine. You got cylinder one, two, three, four, some five, some six. This is a cam sprocket, exhaust cam. This is a intake cam. This is a sort of VVT hub. This is a standard sprocket. If you look in there behind that sprocket, you'll see a seal. That is a front camshaft seal. Those leak the exhaust side will also leak and sometimes the VVT hub leaks so if you got oil coming down in here getting on your belt leaking under the car on the US passenger side or the right side of the car you likely have a front camshaft leak another thing that can leak on this side of the engine is behind your harmonic balancer is your crank seal your crank seal can leak causing oil to drip down on your front mount drip on the ground it'll be a dripping oil leak your oil pan on these almost never leak unless you knock a hole in them so that's likely not it so if you have oil dripping on the ground on the right side of the car the front side of the engine likely your cam seals sometime your crank seal sometime your vvt you got a VVT valve here that has a gasket in it. If somebody's tampered with that, that can leak. And every once in a while, which is, I don't see on this engine, but on your P80 Volvos from 94 all the way up to 98, the engine has little block panels on the back of it. I have actually had an experience where one of those leaks. It's a $7 gasket about 20 minutes to repair if you have an oil leak on the back side of that engine sometimes toward the middle sometimes a little bit toward the driver's side it can possibly be your turbo drain your turbo drain line connects to the bottom of the turbo here it drains down into the oil uh, the engine block here right above the oil pan there's a gasket there that sometimes goes bad and it leaks, especially if somebody's tampered with it and put a bunch of crap in there like silicone. Sometimes the gasket where it mounts on the bottom of the turbo leaks. It's like a six, seven dollar kit. If you get all wheel drive, it's a pain in the butt. Get these screws out, replace that. But that is a common place where these engines leak oil. Another common area where these cars leak is the rear cam seals this is a rear cam seal plug they don't leak that often 
but if you don't have a plug and your car is like mine has a distributor cap rotor on there it could leak oil out of there the oil will run down onto the transmission run down the front of the engine normally if it's a intake cam if it's an exhaust cam behind your cam sensor that will leak out of that sensor drain down the back side of the engine and down past the turbo that is a oil leak that is very common usually if your pcv system's bad you get these leaks very common here's your throttle body comes off your intercooler if you got a turbo here's your intake tube coming off your air box going down and that feeds into the turbo a lot of your older volvos let's say from 94 up to 2003 this tube is a hard plastic it is very common to see a drop of oil on the bottom of that or on the bottom of the turbo that is absolutely nothing to worry about it's very common don't let nobody sell you anything if you have a drop or two of oil on there really if you don't have an oil leak where oil is dripping on the ground I probably wouldn't even worry about it I've seen a bad oil leak is at the bottom of that oil trap that box right there if you put an aftermarket part on there and it deteriorates oil will leak out of that run down the front of your oil pan and I've seen them leak a quarter oil every 50 miles so you don't want to use aftermarket parts on there especially euro those things deteriorate and leak and you have a big mess on your hand but not least a leak that you do not want is your rear main seal area where your transmission meets your engine block you have these bolts down here down there there's a little hole you can see in that hole sometime if you get a rear main seal leak it'll leak at the seam of this engine to transmission seal uh, seam leak down out of that hole if you have to replace that fix that leak you normally have to pull the transmission off from the engine and it's almost the same labor cost as a transmission replacement so you don't want a rear main seal leak if you see one it's normally anywhere from a 900 to a 1200 dollars repair rear main seal you see your transmission torque mount there which on this car is torn nonetheless here's the transmission here's the engine a rear main seal leak would leak out of that hole sometimes you can see up in there to see if oil is running down this screw right here you'll see it running down the screw leaking on that screw and you know you got a rear main seal leak here's the engine out of a volvo 850 you can see the, you can see the rear main seal here if that rear main seal is leaking you got to pull the transmission the flywheel and everything to get at it here are the cam seals on a volvo 850 intake cam seal where the distributor goes exhaust cam seal where the cam sensor goes best to replace those with a special tool so that they don't throw the springs and leak on you here's a look at the crank the marks at the crank you gotta pull this uh, crank pulley off to access the seal behind you let me go grab a pry bar and pop that off or find another one that's exposed this is a white block engine that has dual VVTs you see a valve there valve goes here these seals are a little different you don't really need a seal tool to install them because the VVT hub will go on there but anytime the inner edge of the seal touches the shaft you need a tool here's a crank down there as you can see the seal down there is kind of hard to get at I use a tool from my website to install those you don't want to mess up a crank seal put all the time and stuff back together start the car find out that you damaged that seal putting it in use a tool to install the crank seal every time engine also has the rear main seal exposed there it is there the intake cam rear seal the exhaust cam rear seal still has the parts on it if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, 
leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.